there's certainly been a lot of interest uh, created by uh, Boomtown Hobbies and their uh, call for test pilots to um, evaluate their new tail boom for the Blade CX-2 and Llama V4. Um, in fact, uh, the last time I checked uh, the message boards at rcgroups.com, uh, at least one person was clamoring for uh, for my evaluation, there, or for our evaluations. They were basically saying, you know, what's the holdup? We want to know. What is this thing all about, and is it any good? Um, so there's me kicking myself, because I didn't opt for the uh, express delivery on this thing. Um, and I mistakenly believed that the tail boom had not arrived uh, as of yesterday or the day before. In fact, normal shipping with Boomtown Hobbies uh, is amazingly rapid. Um, the problem is, here's the parcel from Boomtown Hobbies uh, containing the new tail boom. And meanwhile, here is um, the package that regularly arrives at our house, like, I don't know, every two weeks or so. It's medication for one of our cats. We have this adorable cat who's very geriatric, and so, you know, we get this medication shipped to us. My mother uh, intercepted the parcel from Boomtown Hobbies, assumed it was medication for the cat, and it's been sequestered. Uh, and, uh, you know, anyway, the point is this could have happened a lot quicker. Um, Anywho, without further ado, now that now that you understand the reason for uh, for this um, inexcusable delay, uh, why don't I just go ahead and set that aside? Um, for some reason, I've noticed that with new gadgets on the internet, there's this this development uh, in terms of videos that people upload to the web. They they talk about unboxing like it's a big deal. You know, they'll they'll be like, oh, we're unboxing the new iPhone. You know, we're unboxing uh, the Samsung touchscreen. Blah blah blah. It's ridiculous. I mean. There are people out there who have such a fetish for gadgets and consumer goods that they're actually uh, willing to watch a video of a product being taken out of its box for the first time. So I don't necessarily expect that any of you all are, are that sick, but in case you are, um, I'm just going to unbox this thing for you. I'm going to be real careful with the, uh, you know, don't want to tear this packaging. Yes, unboxing the new uh, tail boom, carbon fiber, believe it or not. Unboxing the new tail boom from Boomtown Hobbies of Clackamas, Oregon. And let's have a look-see. Okay. So. Considering the excitement that this thing has generated among some people, and even my own excitement about the fact that I have the privilege and responsibility of evaluating it, um, eh, I could think of more boring things to do than unboxing this. Interesting. How about that? Yeah, I, I opted for yellow. Uh, Jamie at Boomtown Hobbies gave me a choice of uh, black or yellow, and advised me that the yellow will probably be harder to get a hold of, it, there's a bit of irony here in that um, the, the main agenda of, of this test piloting evaluation is they want us to break this thing. <laughs> if, 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 the, if this boom has weaknesses, Boomtown Hobby wants to know where those weaknesses are. So, interesting. So there's definitely a bit of assembly required. Uh, Jamie did tell me with some confidence that uh, once I uh, experience uh, flying my llama with this tail boom, I'll never go back to a stock-bodied llama. Jamie said this with enough confidence that I'm prepared to believe it. Well, here's the um, entire assembly. Um, there's an O-ring included. Uh, 
this here, which apparently is supposed to um, connect. Uh, I'm not. I'm gonna have to like get online and look at some pictures of other uh, tail boom assemblies and figure this out. But according to the instructions, it's supposed to connect from here to the smaller fin, thereby maintaining some kind of um, uh, tension or some such in the tail boom. Anyway, this is certainly a nice looking uh, piece of equipment, and uh, I, I am eager to see how the llama looks with this in place, and moreover, how it performs. Okay. Let's see here. An ounce. Um, so that's pretty consistent uh, between the three different scales. We've got a range from 14.0 to 14.3 grams. Okay, well I was given to believe that the um, uh, Boomtown uh, carbon fiber uh, tail boom was supposed to weigh less than the uh, stock uh, body work, but um, what I'm finding out here is that apparently is not the case. I will, of course, verify this uh, on a different scale, although I think we've pretty much verified that this scale is at least consistent uh, from one measurement to the next. Okay, well on this less accurate uh, portion power scale. We're showing about a half an ounce. And uh, it looks like, in fact, the um, stock llama bodywork weighs less than the aftermarket tail boom. In all fairness, though, uh, due to a previous mishap, as you can see, there is a tiny little bit of plastic missing from my stock. Um, fuselage. I don't know that it would make very much difference, um, but it's there. <laughs> 